Hello. In this demonstration, I'll be showing the capabilities of Power Buy for both Katia Magic and SolidWorks. As you can see on the left-hand side of my screen, these are both two different apps that you can open up directly within the 3D Experience platform. So we have Design with SolidWorks and Design with Katia Magic. These are both the Power Buy apps that'll take you and open up the apps directly. But as you can see right here on my screen, we have a traceability tab here that shows connecting your Katia Magic models to your um, CAD models and your CAD designs. So we're gonna start and kind of go through the process on how to create all of this and integrate all of it together. So the first thing that's gonna start is we're gonna start by going to our apps here and opening up the Design with Katia Magic app. By clicking on this app, it'll take you directly into your SysML models and as you can see on the top hand side of your screen here, it'll connect to the server that you're working in. It'll show exactly what dashboard you're working in and your role in that dashboard. Once you understand that, you'll be able to directly modify and change values to the elements that are within your containment tree. I can go ahead here, click collaborate, click on all the different projects that are also available on the server as well. These projects are currently loading. And as you can see here, the project that I'm working in, System Review WDS Local, is the project that I am currently have opened up and that I'm working in right now. From there, um, you can re-update, change elements in your model, and um, save that back to the 3D Experience platform. Once you know that your model elements are committed by if you commit your changes to the server, you can then go back ahead to the 3D Experience platform and um, trace and link certain object elements within your, within your SysML model to your model design. So as you can see here, I have a trace going from my intake pipe to, uh, to this piece that is, on the, that is on the CAD model as shown. So you're able to have both your SysML model, the diagram view, as well as the actual CAD design all together on one screen in this traceability tab. But let's say you're an engineer and you have an action item that you want to create to your design. Let's say you have a certain part of your design that doesn't satisfy the requirements. You would go to your action item management if you are, let's say, a design engineer, and you would notice that, oh, I have an issue with my, with my pump because the intake pipe diameter is having some problems. So what you would then do is you'd be able to go to your design with SolidWorks app, which is uh, SolidWorks with Power Buy. So as you could see, I've just connected to the cloud server using um, SolidWorks with Power Buy, and you can go ahead here and see what exact session you're working in and kind of what the roles that you have under that session. And what you can do here is you can either open uh, individual files that you've already added into the server, or if you wanted to make changes and upload your own files, you could do that as well. I'm gonna go ahead and show an example of me opening up a brand new file. So I'm going to go ahead here. Um, I'm going to go ahead here and open the piece that we're going to be working on. Which, as you can see here, this, the piece that I uploaded wasn't necessarily a SolidWorks part. So you can import and update different uh, model parts from different types of CAD softwares. You know, if it's like NX, Inventor, etc. Um, and then the first thing that you want to do here is, if you do upload your own individual part, you want to go to the part itself. And you want to uh, make sure that you right click right here and that you uh, break the link. by breaking this link, you uh, separate all the different measurements and uh, parameters that are of this part so that you, if you want to make any additional changes while within the SolidWorks app. But from here, it's as, once you're done, it's as simple as saving that to the 3D Experience platform. So I'm going to go ahead here, click on the Save button, and I'll save that as the new intake and you can even select the individual bookmark that it is you want to work in in my case we have the model based design review dashboard so i'll click on the item that i want to save make my changes and press save and now you've uploaded your brand new file part and or you've created changes to your original file part to the 3d experience platform and you can see those changes take place right here because as you see here it was saved to the repository in 3d experience so now you can go back here and you can make modifications and changes to your action item and say, hey, I created changes to this action item piece. And from those changes 
to the part, you can either re-upload that part in this case um, to the, the assembly that we have here for the pump, and you can notice and see any changes based, or sorry, and you can see if it satisfies any of the requirements based on the links that you've created in the traceability tab. So this is kind of an overall example on how to go from your Power Buy with Katia Magic all the way to Power Buy with SolidWorks and bring everything together on the 3D Experience platform. Thank you for listening.